Hey guys, it's Danger. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever episode for my first, I guess, series you can call, I guess, on my channel, which is My K Drama Review. Now, um, this is going to be kind of out of order, and I don't really know how this is going to go. I'm just going to kind of like go about it, like as I'm like making these videos, and then I'm just going to see how well it does. If you guys really like these videos, you really like these reviews and everything, and you want more, then I'll um, continue making more. But for right now, I'm probably only going to do like maybe like 10 at least. But um, yeah, so first, today's episode, we are going to be checking out a BL that came out pretty recently, and it's been really popular. And I don't want to give away too much, but here's just a quick clip of that. <laughs> So yeah, so if you guys know by that clip and as well as the title of this video, then you would know that today's episode is going to be my review on Semantic Error. This one was one of the recent K-dramas that I watched. I kind of had like a stop in watching K-dramas at one point. I was just kind of really busy and stuff, but I started getting back into K-dramas. And this was actually the drama that kind of started me to like watch dramas back up again, even though it was like a BL, you know, that kind of like helped me out a lot. I know that I put a warning in here at the beginning, but if you guys haven't heard, seen already or heard, make sure that you do know that this is spoilers. So, if you guys don't want spoilers, then probably just click off the video, but yeah. Anyways, let's dive on into the review. So basically, in the drama, I would say, like, just like to give a big summary of the drama, Ji chans character, which is Sangwoo, he did this huge just presentation slash project uh, where he was supposed to be in like a group project, but it just didn't really work out because everyone that else that was part of the project didn't want to help him and stuff like that. We're just kind of, you know, letting him do all the main work, you know. I'm sure that, you know, majority of like high schoolers and maybe even college kids nowadays probably already have like felt that or like kind of experienced that, which I personally have. So, and instead of like putting everyone's names onto the presentation, he only put his name, which caused a lot of drama with, you know, some of the kids involved within that project, kind of like affecting some of them school-wise with, you know, graduation, stuff like that. One of the students that kind of got affected by this pretty badly was uh, Sohong's character, Jaehyung, which basically kind of like prevented him from graduating early, I think, or something like that, or kind of pushed him back from graduating and kind of doing his whole like, life plans and everything that he's been doing. Jaehyung basically is like really pissed off about it and he wants to find who this like Sangu kid is. So he like has all these flyers and everything put up and just is like very desperate to find him. But yeah, so Jaehyung basically just tries everything he can to try and find this kid and he eventually does find him. I guess the way that he found him is because Sangu had an advertisement to try and get some other student to do some kind of uh, cl collaboration project um, because he wants to like put like a mobile game together or he wants to create one I guess so that's kind of like his main project that he wants to try and get done and he needed someone that would be good with like you know designing and stuff like that. Pretty much Sangu didn't recognize the kid he didn't you know didn't know who Jaehyung was and Jaehyung you know obviously knew him and things don't really kind of click until Jaehyung tells Sangu that he already has his phone number, which is the pho which he got his phone number from that whole project thing. And you know, of course, like Sangu has like all those people that were in that project named like Freeloader One, Freeloader Two. So once he looked at you know his phone, and he like realized that this kid was like the freeloader one of the one of the many freeloaders from the pro his past project oh, no, just you. <laughs> so basically Jaehyung he kind of you know just tries to I don't know, I wouldn't say bully him, I would just say try to pick on him and just make his life miserable. I don't know if that's considered bullying, I don't know. <laughs> he wears uh, Sangu's least favorite color to school, which is red, so he wears like a red tracksuit. And he got Sangu's like whole itiner itinerary, I guess you could say, or schedule 
for his, you know, next next year's classes, he, you know, goes there, shows up there like way much earlier than Sangu normally does, and then steals his seat that he wants in the classes. And Jaehyung is older than Sangu, so he somehow arranged some of his classes and took some of the classes that basically Sangu took, which is another reason how he ended up taking some of Sangu's favorite seats or preferred seats. But yeah, so just kind of like all that stuff at school, and then just to top it all off, Jaehyung also recently moved in right by Sangu, like his apartment. This new apartment is literally right next to Sangu's. Not only do they have stuff going on like at school between like Sangu and Jaehyung, but there's also stuff going on potentially back where they're gonna be living at home. I w I'm not quite sure, to be honest, when they started to catch feelings for each other, at least not that I can recall, around the time when Sangu joined this one class where they ended up, I think the whole class, as well as the teacher, went out drinking at this one like restaurant. But Jaehyung and his, some of his friends just happened to be there and, you know, the teacher was super drunk, was trying to like get into a fight with Sangu, and Jaehyung basically like helped get Sangu like away and like they kind of just ran out of the restaurant. I want to say that's how Jaehyung started to get feelings for Sangu. <laughs> Nina, which is one of Jaehyung's friends, basically kind of like, you know, she doesn't really care, kind of is just like, you know, just like, why are you doing this, you know, to to Jaehyung, just kind of like, why are you doing this, you know, do you really find this funny, and are you sure you don't like him, and, you know, Jaehyung obviously was like, you know, in denial, just like, no, I just want to like make fun of him. She's like really cool, she's one of the secondary characters that kind of causes a little bit of some drama within the show, is a girl named Jihae. I really like Jihae, I think she was really cute in the drama. Um, I really liked her personality, how she was always so like nice and bubbly and just cheered of became interested in Sangu and thought he was cute and everything. And she tried so hard to just get with Sangu. Like she would try to set dates. At one point it became a competition between Jihei and Jaehyung because at one point Jaehyung ended up running into Jihei, told her, you know, like, like, hey, I like Sangu too. I have a better chance to go to like get with him instead of you so kindly back off and she kind of just like laughs it off and, she, and you know it kind of just becomes like a little mini competition between the two. Jihei kind of just like accepts it you know and she kind of just tells Sangu like oh yeah I like you and everything like that but and she kind of just wanted to get it off of her chest since obviously Sangu and Jaehyung are gonna be like a thing. I guess like some more conflict besides the whole like Jaehyung versus Jihae, it would be just Sangu just kind of like having trouble with his feelings I guess. He was starting to get feelings for them like right when they started doing this French like presentation slash project together and they kind of just like bonded but then Jaechan kind of, or I'm sorry Sangu. <laughs> He kind of tried to just like stay away from Jaehyung and made it very clear and I think that made Jaehyung very upset and just kind of like went back to his old ways of like hating him I guess. can't remember exactly when Sangu started to get feelings for him. I think, I don't know, but I know that at one point when Jaehyung started to get his own job at some restaurant further away with his friend, um, Sangu took Jihye <laughs> to that restaurant as like a date. He was trying real hard to try and find Jaehyung so that way he could talk to him. He kind of used his whole like project of like building a game to kind of bring Jaehyung back in into like being like his, I guess, friend again. Once they started to become friends again, 
the, he kind of Sangu kind of wanted to have like a, a boundary where Jung would like warn him whenever he was gonna touch him because I think that was one of the another one of the things that Sangu didn't really like was being talked. To. One part of the show that I will say was very memorable for me personally was when Jung and Sangu were at Jung's like job. And I think at one point they just got really too drunk to the point where they just started like getting really really serious with each other. Heads up, I'm gonna like kiss you. Sangu just took a turn. He just kind of like grabbed Jam and just kissed him. It was a very memorable scene. Hey, cool. Everyone to kiss Sangu. When Jayoung's original plan for his life after graduating, or I guess before graduating, whichever you want to consider it, um was to go to a different country to go study and basically get a job out there. So they kind of started to separate again and Sangu very much wanted Jiang to just go to travel abroad to go, you know, work and Sangu basically met up with him at like some park or something and basically confessed how much he like loves him and everything and that pretty much like wrapped up the whole entire story in the whole entire show and then the ending was basically just like them like continuing to work on jh or with the whole mobile game and they pretty much just like said that like he'll keep on working on it himself while jayong is away and then when jayong comes back he'll help finish the project for Sangu. so that's kind of how the whole drama ends but yeah so that was kind of just like a whole summary um which i know is probably gonna be like majority of these reviews is just me basically like trying to summarize it the whole show up as best as I can but pretty much I loved this k-drama it was pretty good I can understand why it's so popular um, not only like internationally but also in Korea as well for this drama if you like dramas that are short in length with number of episodes as well as time duration within the episodes you just want to like binge watch something like really quickly recommend this drama i would say overall i gave i give this drama a 9 out of 10. i would say a 9 out of 10 is pretty good for this drama because it's a very good story and it ends very well and it can definitely it could definitely like fit very well to go for a second season potentially when Zoham comes back from the military. But yeah anyways that was my review on Semantic Error. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed all the upcoming episodes that are coming pretty soon. So anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my social media links in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!